Bonifacio's under it. One away. Now batting. The designated hitter. Leore. Garcia. So to the plate is the White Sox DH. Leore Garcia. Second shot now. He doubled to start out the home first. In his first at bat, he hit that breaking ball for a base hit. It'll be. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. A solo shot here to left, number 28 on the season, and the White Sox will move out in front 4 to 1. After this blast, the third home run of the game, you can see why this place is known as a launching pad. Balls leave this place in a hurry. So I would be surprised if we see more before this thing is over. At the plate now, Eric Gonzalez. To right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back-to-back -back home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 14 on the season as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be flying, Dero. The hitter's on point. The pitchers aren't making very good pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. They're now leaving back. a lot of balls First over feet. the heart of the plate. And this both offense, and both offenses oh, are taking feet. advantage. A quick glove at third, and there are two gone. Now so back. a good job to get Don't the out field. there, but with five oh, runs oh. already surrendered, that's not going to do any favors to the team ERA so far this season. And that's a sight you don't want to see dead last in the AL in that category. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. Yeah, that last at bat, Matty, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Swung on and chopped to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We played two full, and the White Sox are out in front, five to one. Next for the Tigers, Jorge Bonifacio. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Pitch on the way. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The one two. Swung on and missed strike three. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. So now to the plate, Jake Rogers. As with one away, he won't catch up with the fastball, and it's 0-1. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. The windup and the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. And 
a swing and a miss and another punch out here six already and that's out number two classic slider down and away for the strike out there not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already that's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode at the plate Victor Reyes strike one to start the at bat. The 0 1 pitch. Hard hit at third. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Three up, three down for Detroit. They're down here 5 to 1. Digging in for his second at bat, Yosemite Grandal, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. First pitch coming, here it is. Yanked on the ground down the line. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. Well, pitching poorly once like he did in his last start, it's going to happen here or there, but he's struggling here again, too, and there has to be some concern. And part of it is probably psychological. He's got to get those here we go again thoughts out of his head. So here's Yuan Moncada, runner at first to start the inning. And Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry. And if you don't have a good feel in that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. He's set and the pitch. A line shot to third base, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Now batting, center fielder. And with one gone now in the inning, let's take a look at the White Sox upcoming schedule here on the show to see where they'll be for the next seven days. Now with the plate, Luis Robert. First pitch of the at bat on its way. On the ground to second base. This could be two. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Next will be the designated hitter, Harold Castro. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. No balls in one strike. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Pulled toward right center field. Robert comes on now, and he has it one down. Now batter. Good time now to check out the White Sox road to the show report as you see a pair of guys in the upper levels that have been making waves as of late. The next batter Jamer Candelario. Skied into straightaway right. Dyson is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. 
up next for the Tigers, the second baseman, Jonathan. So two outs now for the Tigers in their half of the fourth, and that'll bring up Jonathan Scope to hit next. Here's the first pitch to him. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1-0. Ball and a strike. Scope, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Some guys only get to free agency one time in their career. This guy has a chance to get there for a second time and in the prime of his career. Is he able to handle the pressure as he plays out this final season? Hit the other way out toward right field. Dyson on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Tigers. They're down 5-1. to one. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a soft liner. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. I'm shocked this pitcher keeps trying to attack the zone with them being so aggressive early in the count. You wonder if he wouldn't be served a little better, just kind of nibbling for a little bit early and then pound in the zone late. Into the box, Gerard Dyson. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Cronenworth gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Cronenworth ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. He's in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Now back, the designated hitter, Leore Garcia. Standing in now, Leore Garcia as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Here's the 0-1. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile the runner is in to score. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. At the plate, Eric Gonzalez. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked and he turned that thing around and it got out of here in a hurry. This is line to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Sox get a run here on two hits. We played four full. White Sox on top, six to one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. 
He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The court card, number 49. Here comes the first pitch. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. So yet another strong outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA. And as you can see there, he's currently in fifth place in that department in the AL race. One out now here in the Tiger fifth inning. And that'll bring up the big first baseman, C.J. Crone. And the pitch. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Into the corner and slicing foul. Now another 0 2. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. In now, Jacoby Jones. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Pitch on the way. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Welcome back to the South Side as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I had a chance to talk with White Sox manager Rick Renteria between innings about his thoughts on his lineup's performance. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Thank you, Heidi. So here's Jose Abreu. A hit in two tries so far. The first baseman, Jose Abreu. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Rip down the line. That's through for a base hit. His second of the ball game. So he continues to hit the ball well. His second hit of the ball game, and he's aboard on the leadoff single. As we take a look at the league leaders in hitting, and as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Now here comes Ron Gardenhire up out of the dugout, and he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings, as this will not go down as a quality start, that's for sure. Kyle Funkhauser takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Kyle. Elo Jimenez will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. From 
the belt. Kicks and deals. And it's fouled away. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Six runs, 11 hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. Gone! So a two-run shot to left center is second of the game as this is now a seven-run ball game. Switch hitting catcher Yasmani Grandal. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. Bonifacio looking up. Gone. Back to back jacks on back to back pitches. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 26 for him on the season as they've widened this lead to eight now. the Cuban import Yon Moncada and he hits it hard to the right side and that's through for a hit and the screen shows the story right there as that hitting streak will live to see another day rubber stepping in Luis Robert he was a double play victim last time around yeah, and the defense is thinking, give it to us again and we'll roll it over all day long. Don't think that's not in his head right now as he steps to the plate. From the stretch. Liner towards second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. Now batting. Shortstop. Shake. Cronin work. Coming to the plate now, Jake Cronenworth. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Right side, hit hard. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The right fielder, number 32. Hey, guys, I think the pitcher was just trying to steal a strike right there. I do not think he expected to get ambushed on an oh, oh, get me over breaking ball. But that's exactly what happened. To the plate now, Gerard Dyson. He swings, and it's a line drive to left center. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. And the runner is in from second. On to third, but he's in safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play. This is an easy decision for him to drive for third because he has the play right in front of him, so he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging, and he makes it all the way around safely. Tyler Alexander gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Alexander. Alexander. 
So now to the plate. Leury Garcia swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across to score. Now that boy this guy's having a great a game here so far D -Ro. home run Good. earlier oh, in the night and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's wind up and that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bomb but now he's got three ribbies to boot. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Oh and one here it comes a swing and a ground ball to third and that's the second out. The bat the first baseman Jose. Abreu. Ready now for the White Sox. Jose Abreu, runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch coming, here it is. High in the air out to center field. Reyes is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. All told, 10 men come to the plate here. Six of them score. Five innings complete. It's the White Sox 12 and the Tigers 1. And that'll bring up Jorge Bonifacio. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Hey. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now batter, the catcher, Jake Rogers. Striding in once again, Jake Rogers looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One run, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. One and two to the Tigers catcher. One ball, two strikes, you count. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Into the box now, Victor Reyes. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Tigers. They're looking up at a 12 to 1 deficit. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Emo Jimenez. 
This guy's no having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this AB. But this will be speared at third, and that was self defense all the way. Now one gun. The catcher. Yes, money. Run ball. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Yosmani Grandal. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Here's a fly ball well hit. Bonifacio's on his horse, but he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Now better. the third baseman. Into the box, Yohan Moncada. On a line, that's a base hit. Throw comes into third now, so they're at the corners here with only one out. Chalk up another multi hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. At the plate, Luis Robert. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. Now a dive with the baseball as he makes the tag. He is out, and the inning is over. So nothing doing here after the six-run outburst the inning before. Seventh inning coming up. It's the White Sox 12 and the Tigers 1. Cody Hoyer is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 65, Cody Hoyer. Next to the plate for the Tigers, the DH, Harold Castro. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Lifted down the line and left. Jimenez is in pursuit, and this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Drilled on the ground is short. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, the third baseman, Gamer Candelario. Digging in the switch hitter, Jimer Candelario. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. And he takes strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right there, guys. When it's tight like this one was, it looks like a fastball off the plate, then darts back at the corner at the last second, locked him up completely with that one. Here's Jonathan Scope now. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. No hits to this point. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Two out, nobody on. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. 
in my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a hit. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Three up, three down for Detroit. They're looking up at a 12 to 1 deficit. Last half of the seventh here, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth. First pitch of the at bat. Hit in the air to center field. Reyes is there, and he has it for the first out. The right fielder, number 32. Gerard Dyson. Stepping up to the plate, Gerard Dyson. It was a two run triple for him in his last AB. Now the pitch. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. Bonifacio looking up, and it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 11 for him on the season as the blowout continues. It's getting pretty comical now. Their sixth home run of the game, and they're not done yet. They say hitting is contagious, and apparently that applies to the long ball. It's looking like batting practice out there. Standing in now, Leury Garcia. As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Swing and a line drive. But just foul. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. Now bat. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. In now, Eric Gonzalez. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The wind up and the 0 1. Line hard, but this will be a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, there's a hard hit ball that was going to be down for extra bases. The ball had some spring on it, and it bounced over the wall, and the ground rule double puts him on second base without having to leg it out. Jordan Zimmerman enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. To the plate now, Jose Abreu on a line. That's a base hit. And now it'll kick around in the corner. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Man, I haven't seen an offensive explosion like this since I don't know when. It's been a combination of spotty pitching and inconsistent defense, and now they posted an amazing 14 runs on the board. Elo Jimenez will stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ball game as we flash you back here to his second home run. This was back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at bats.
Zimmerman comes set. Here it comes. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here. 0-1. Past history with Jordan Zimmerman. He's done well. 6 for 13. He also has one home run. Here's the 0-1. Popped him up. Rodgers is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The White Sox lead it 14 to 1. Digging in once again, number 49 comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First pitch coming, here it is. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game, but they're going to need a few more here as they're still well behind. Here's CJ Crone now. Up next for the Tigers. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Oh, for two for him to this point. Here it comes, one and oh. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Fouled off. The one two. Bounce to first. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now back left fielder, Jacoby Jones. Digging in now, Jacoby Jones. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First pitch on its way. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0 and 1. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. A late swing on the slider, and quickly it's 0 and 2. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. This inning didn't get started the way he'd okay. hope with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. At the plate now, Jorge Bonifacio. This will come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here's the 0 and 2. And he fouls this one off. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So one run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. And the White Sox are out in front, 14-2. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Where and digging go? in is the switch hitting catcher, Yosmani Grandal. Yosmani. 
First delivery to him on the way. This is pulled into right. And that's another base hit for him. He's on a tear in this one. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here. And those don't come along every day. Into the box, Yohan Moncada. Belted high and deep into right center. Bonifacio looking up. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A two-run job by Yohan Moncada. And his power surge continues. And even 60 for him on the year as this lead got even wider. Plate, Luis now Robert. Now that ball is smoked. Carrying to deep left. Gone! Back to back jacks on back to back pitches. A solo shot here to left, and that's home run number 48 on the year as they just continue to pour it on here. go to the bullpen now and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Gregory Soto. Into the box now, Jake Cronenworth. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. And that'll be the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number 32, Yoram Dyson. Digging in and looking for more, Gerard Dyson. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Wow, have a day. He's just completed the cycle, folks. Wow, one of the toughest things to do in baseball, right? Hit for the cycle in one game. Single, double, triple, homer, all in one game. Congratulations. Standing in now, Leury Garcia. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Scope will look this one in, and there are two away now. Now back, second baseman, Eric Gonzalez. Ready once again, Eric Gonzalez. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Crone. He's got it, and the side is retired. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We played eight full. The White Sox lead this one 17 to 2. So digging in now, Jake Rogers starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. The windup and the 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Now that is the center fielder, Victor Reyes. So back to the top of the Detroit lineup, digging in, Victor Reyes. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Nope. Boy, that's a great take right there. He might have been frozen by that pitch, but it missed by just enough to give him life in this A.B. Ground ball left side. Moncada gloves it. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now that designated hitter, Harold Castro. Stepping into the box, Harold Castro. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Not the largest crowd ever, but they're on their feet. Hit back toward the mound. Oh, and he misses it. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Uh, and this has to be a big concern here. This ball came back and got him right in the pitching arm. And that is something you just never want to see. You can see him trying to work this one off. And from all appearances, I think they're going to let him continue. So that at least is a good sign. So now to the plate, Jimer Candelario. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Last breath for the Tigers. Hit out towards second. And that is through into center field. A base hit. You know, D-Roll, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. Two men are on with two men out. liner towards second and that's through into right field for a base hit and a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third so the bases become loaded now with two gone boy this is a big inning Bruin how about back to back to back singles the bags are loaded and he is in deep trouble yes he is no doubt about it nothing fires you up more than knocking the donut off your bat on the on deck circle and realizing all the pillows are taken right now major traffic you got to stay within yourself not try and do too much and get a pitch in your zone Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. 
He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We can say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 17-2 to two in tonight's game. The White Sox with their 80th win to pace the division. Michael Kopech records win number 16 on the season as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Matthew Boyd allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. Cody Hoyer takes the rare three-inning save, his eighth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, four hours and two minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.